Press, the Consumer Electronics Show. When it first started in the late 60s, it was the place to showcase such breakthroughs as the pocket radio and the first ever VCR. Now the four-day gadget gala dazzles visitors with the latest trends in tech, from smart home appliances to virtual reality. We are seeing the future. We're seeing robotics, wearable devices that will tell us how we're healthy and when, whether we're sick. We're seeing everything from all sorts of different drones to things that keep us healthy. We've also seen a whole new category of clothing introduced focusing on sleepwear and technology. And of course, it's the way we'll be traveling around in the future that interests me the most. So Honda have used their robotics technology to develop this the Unicub, and it's basically people with walking difficulties to get around with just a little bit of weight balance, or for lazy people like me that have spent too much time walking around CES. Now, as well as all the latest car tech, CES also showcases the latest gizmos and gadgets, including the world's most waterproof case ever. I think it's time for a dip. Have you ever thought about the humanization of a car? Well, Toyota have. They've just launched their concept car, Concept I, unbelievably looking, but using facial recognition, it can even tell whether you're feeling happy Making the headlines at this year's CES is the launch of the new Faraday Future electric supercar, promising a relatively affordable, fully autonomous and ever so sexy fully electric ride. This supercar is equipped with a 130 kilowatt hour battery and is packed with more mod cons than you can shake a gear stick at. This is the launch of FF91. From a distance, from 100 uh, feet away, we wanted to, uh, to see this very progressive spaceship on the road. This is the production car. Okay. Everything here is so it's the real deal. Autonomous. It's all it's re ready to go. That's uh, level four autonomy. This car is not only the, the fastest electric production car, it's going to be the most connected co uh, production car and have the best uh, self driving capabilities. So how fast is it? Uh, is zero it? to 60 in 2.39 uh, seconds. Yeah. That's very fast. So the fastest if you want to drive, but if you're in the back seat trying to enjoy, I don't know, connectivity, music, movies, faster connectivity than your own home or office. So fastest to drive, fastest connection, right? So we're, we're, measuring, the sound of this we're car. measuring performance for different people depending on someone who may not even have a driver's license wanting to have their version of performance. Mm -hmm. Since the car has been designed to be self-driving, it's conceived with the passenger as much in mind as the driver. The old days of buying a car, you would get in the driver's seat and you'd say, yes, I want it or I don't. Now we know because of ride share and the, the, new, the millennials yeah. maybe aren't so interested in driving that every seat in the house matters. Okay. Oh, wow. So we do a grand entrance. And to my delight, CNN Supercharged has been granted an exclusive backseat experience. No other journalist has yet been able to sit in the rear of the car. So apparently this is called zero gravity. And I think it might be a little slice of heaven in what is a very chaotic CES. Ooh, we're going further and further back. Oh yeah, I could get used to this. So stressful driving around town, isn't it? <laughs> this, oh my God, it carries on. <laughs> Faraday has remained rigidly silent on the subject of cost. It has been speculated in the press to come with a price tag of around $200,000. When is this actually going to be hitting the roads? 2018 sometime. Yeah. 2018? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, right. And a year they... and, a, and a half ago, I was by myself in the design department, so to be here with a production car... Just a year and a half yeah, ago? a year and eight months ago. Wow. Have you slept? 
uh, every uh, other day I do. Every yeah. other day, <laughs> yeah. perfect, more than enough. Yeah. Well, considering you've yeah. been working very little yeah. sleep, congratulations, yeah. Thank absolutely you. stunning, and Thank very you. excited Thanks to see it on yeah. our roads in 2018. Yeah. Good.